Suppose a firm uses labor and capital to produce its output. And now this firm scales up each of the inputs by the same amount. So omega is going to represent the scale up factor. For example, if the firm doubles all of its inputs, omega would be 2. And if the firm triples all of its inputs, omega would be 3. When all the inputs change by omega, how much will output change? Let's let theta be the proportionate change in output. So if theta exceeds omega, then we say there are increasing returns to scale. So for example, if you doubled your inputs, you'd get more than double output. If theta and omega are equal, we say it's constant returns to scale. So for example, if I double my inputs, I'll get exactly double the output. And if theta is less than omega, then there are decreasing returns to scale. So if I double my inputs, I'll get less than double the output. Here's an example production function. Let's triple all the inputs, so omega is 3. What I need to do is triple each of the labor and capital inputs, meaning my labor term is squared. So I need to square 3L. And my capital term is raised to the point 5, so I need to triple triple times capital and then raise that whole term to the point 5. So now I need to distribute in my exponents. Bringing the squared term in on the 3 gives me 9, and then L squared. Bringing the 0.5 exponent in on the 3 gives me 1.73, and then it comes in on the capital term. I can take and combine these terms, so the 9 and the 1.73 get multiplied together for 15.57, L squared, K to the 0.5. What I'm noticing now is I've got L squared, K to the 0.5 as part of my original production function. Then I've got a term out in front. So this term out in front is going to be theta. Now I can compare and say, well, theta is 15.57 and omega is 3, so we definitely have some increasing returns to scale here. Here's another production function. Let's let omega be 2. Let's double our inputs. So every time I see an L, I need to plug in a 2L, and every time I see a K, I need to plug in a 2K. Distributing the exponents, so the 4 gets copied alone in front, and the 0.4 comes in on the 2, giving me 1.32, L to the 0.4. That 5 gets recopied, the 0.3 exponent comes in on the 2, giving me 1.23, and it comes in on the capital. Now I can take 4 times 1.32 and get 5.28, and I can take the 5 times the 1.23 and get 6.15. Well now this is starting to look like my production function, but it's not going to be exact and I'm not going to be able to pull out a term easily here. What I like to do in this situation is say, okay, well what if theta were exactly 2? What would my production function look like? Well 2q would be 2 times that right hand side of my original production function. And that I can easily distribute in getting 8l to the 0.4 plus 10k to the 0.3. I'll compare that to what I get when I use omega as 2. And I look and I see, oh, all right, well, definitely theta is less than omega. I have decreasing returns to scale here.